I didn't spend too much time looking at tags. I just saw gray ships that I wanted to shoot, so I kind of went in there. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. But I mean, content is content. I, I really like Void in terms of just I think they're a good player base. Um, they they really bring some good stiff competition in terms of PvP force. Um, you know, we win a lot, they win a lot, and at the end of the day, we're just having fun. So, Void has a lot of good people. Oh yeah, very friendly. Is Void gray or red to you? They're gray. Uh, they're gray. And to be right. yeah. So to be just full kind of disclosure on the way that six seal handles uh newts and gr and newts and reds is the only time someone is red is you know, given something at there's one exception in recent history and we can go into that a little bit later i think we have plenty sure. of time to talk about yeah um the only time a organization is red to us is if we're being contracted on them if if someone yeah. has hired us to take them out that way it helps us distinguish when we're you know, paying our pilots for the bounties that we're taking on them, who we're paying what for. So that's really predominantly 99% of the time, the only time we set any organization red. Okay, okay. An interesting question. How do you calculate how much you charge for uh, mercenary jobs? So I won't go into specific pricing based off of past contracts. Uh, is, that's a little bit too much of how the sausage is made, right? But yeah, I, I'm sure. free to say um, clients have approached us with a variety of jobs, with a variety of price ranges, and, and we're flexible. So we'll do anything from that's very lucrative for us, and like a very expensive contract for the client, uh, that the client is happy to pay because of maybe it's a very challenging target, or maybe they just feel very passionate about the job. Um, other times we've had very casual contracts that don't pay very well, but it's just, you know, something extra that the client um, is obviously has a reason for hiring us, but maybe their motivation isn't very, or they're, they're not feeling very passionate about it, or they're not feeling very strongly about it. So we're, the pricing and what we expect from clients is flexible based on the nature of the contract. And because of the nature of what we do for work is so broad it's pretty much negotiated from contract to contract. But, okay, cool. Yeah, and, and but the way that typically looks like, because I mean, I know that was vague, is basically um, a client will say, um, I want you to focus on this group in this or these areas. And then myself or my contract negotiator will say, okay, how does this percentage per kill mail sound to you? So um, X percent per the, just the net value of the kill mail will be paid by the client to us at the end of each day or at the end of each week. Um, and the timelines on that is, is very flexible. And we don't typically do a deposit. We just do pay as you go. So okay. if we rack up one billion in bills on day one, and the client wants to do a daily contract, then we'll just contract them for a billion at the end of the day, or they'll send us a contract for a billion at the end of the day. Yeah. And then we'll pay our pilots that night. So pilots get paid as soon as we get paid. And the client, as soon as they pay, gets an updated dashboard base that shows them exactly what they've paid, how much is left in the contract, if it is a contract with like a, a limit. A right? limit, yeah. Um, they get a a live kill board of everything that we've killed, where we've killed it, how much it was worth, um, what was killed, the link to the kill mail. And then they'll also get a map that shows, basically a heat map that shows regions, times, chips, value. And it'll be a heat map showing all of that distributed across the systems that we've, that we've killed for them in. That's so, great. It's, you know, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's a, it brings another level of game experience to the client because at this point they're getting basically executive level dashboards based on the performance of a service that they've hired. Um, so I think it brings a lot of value and we have a lot of fun doing it. And I don't think we've, yeah, we haven't had a client that's been dissatisfied with it. And we've had clients that have done really small contracts, you know, anything under five billion. We've had clients that have, that have contracted us for tens of billions. 
So we have a pretty wide range of of people that we've worked with. Would you say that you are um, a small but a rich alliance? We're small, uh, but when it comes to wealth, it's feast or famine as contractors. We're either doing really, really, really well or we're getting by. <laughs> um, yeah. We don't, like I said, we don't spend a lot of time ratting. We don't really mine. Um, a lot of the things that you do for ISK to get reliable and consistent amounts of money in isn't part of our alliance's structure. 